What's going on? Welcome back, ladies. Oh, look, they did the new stu- Oh my god, that's so cool. I got unreasonably excited about that. Oh, hey. This is awesome. Look at these legends, dude. This is cool, dude. Wow, what a great update. That's super cool. I can't even get over it. I'm really- Those look really good. Wait, do you just eat pumpkin seeds, like, by themselves? Is that a thing? I'm a pumpkin seed, Greg. Can you eat me by myself? The answer is no. Dude, I can't get over how, like... This looks really good. Those those look super cool, dude. <laughs> Do you remember when I planted the seed of friendship inside of you? Fantastic. Oh, wow. oh, man. I like these a lot. These look great. These kind of pop. They stand out. They These are great. I can't say enough good things. I like Batter Skull. I think it is actually his Batter Skull, interestingly enough. Really? What do you think? You got seven seconds. Just say I'd it. Say, I'd say took hell right. Go for mono red. Took. Oh, actually, let's do that because we haven't done red yet. I would. I've been meaning to do red before the cube goes away. So let's do the red. Oh, but here's a Sphinx's relation and a bribery. We could be blue red. What if we're just guy aggro life gain? Can we do that with Sphinx's revelation and Hell Rider? <laughs> Oh god, I my I have a, I has a sadness. What Connor Ryan? What do you want? Three mics, three mics. Is it collective defiance or shonner? It's gotta be collective defiance, right? Yeah, collective defiance better. I mean in your aggressive red deck, it's gotta be C D, right? Do we get to be the fun police this time? We're trying to. I think it's collective. I uh, Neros, I think Chandra's the better card. I don't I don't want you to be mistaken here. God, we just passed a bribery and a Sphinx's Revelation. Crying out loud, who even am I right now? <laughs> I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Is it Chandra? It's got to be Chandra here, right? Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, I think this is one of the better ones. And that I bet that Fork Bolt will come back, 100%. One, you can never block. 1,000% will that Fork Bolt come back. What about the Spider-Man with the chains? Spider-Man with the chains? Mm -hmm. That I think that was a character called Spawn. No, I no. Don't, I don't think that's a real character. I think There's he's... a Spider-Man with chains. He's like Crimson Spider-Man or something like that. Crimson Spider-Man with the chains. I'm gonna look it up. Spider-Man with chains. Oh God, that's not gonna work. I don't think there's a Spider-Man with. I I mean oh, I. There is. Dude, I've been reading Spider-Man for. Friggin' my entire life, bro. I know all Spider-Man. I know Scarlet Spider. I know, uh, I know the Black Suit Spider-Man. I know the Iron Spider. I know all the Spider-Mans, bro. I don't know no Spider-Man with some chains wrapped I'll around. Find it. Okay, I'm. I'm pretty sure you're thinking of Spider. You're thinking of Spider you're thinking of Spawn, man. I don't want any of these cards. The only red card in this pack is Whip Flare. Ugh, gross. Hunter does all his grooming when we stream. He licks himself. He bites his nails. It's unbelievable. I'm just going to take Hangerback Walker. It's the only card we can actually play here. Oh, Chandra's Phoenix. Now we're talking. God, I'm passing a Baneslayer Angel too? We could have had the Baneslayer Angel Sphinx's Revelation deck. God, you people better appreciate this, what I'm doing for you. You red people better appreciate this. Oh, Cargan Dragonlord. That's where I want to oh, be. Oh, he doesn't have chains. I lied. Yes, I know. I... <laughs> I'm just thinking of Scarlet Spider. Yeah, I, like, come on. You, what? Why would you, how do you get Scarlet Spider, who has, like, a jacket with no sleeves, and Spider-Man with chains? I don't know. To be clear, this is the Scarlet Spider, so this is what Mike was thinking of, apparently. That is very He's just got a hoodie with no sleeves on. It's like, that's Ben Riley. Who's the Spider-Man with chains? <laughs> what happened to him? Well, he, you see, uh, he never existed. But because of the amount of poppy seeds and brain damage you have, you think he did. So, you know. Oh, look at that. I, God, I love these borders, man. They stand out. I look at, I oh, know. I linked the Spider-Man with chains. What? 
Oh God, Alan. Yeah, that's what came up, dude. I looked up Spider-Man chains and it was just infinite Spider-Man with chains on them. And I was like, oh, or Spider-Man chains rather. Do we take, take Electrolyze, try to splash blue here? Or do we take Atali or do we take Dead Gone? This is actually a tricky pack. I think Dead Gone's fine. It, it doesn't deal damage to the face though. Oh, and take Electrolyze. Yeah, I kind of like Electrolyze here. But Atali. Do, do, do. too slow. How dare you? can't i can't oh bogart bogart ram gang is pretty good bogart bogart but we also have dire fleet daredevil too bogart ram gang is way better R way better than snapcaster rage for the yeah i think you're right sometimes that guy doesn't even do anything that's what i say about you i'm like man sometimes that guy doesn't do anything kona flame coming back is pretty sweet we can also be like a bigger red deck that's what we're looking like so far yeah that dinosaur is wearing a crown you're right God, I really like this. I'm surprised. I didn't think I would have this kind of like visceral reaction to this to this border, but it's really it stands out. It looks really good. You know immediately who the legendary creature is. That's cool. I, I like that a lot. I think Dead Gone is great in not the red decks. Like Dead Gone is awesome in the um Hmm. I think Sun Titan here. Maybe we're white. Uh, I think Dead Gone is awesome in like the the control decks, like the blue red decks or the the Jeskai decks or the black red decks. Card is very good. It kills all the aggressive creatures and it also bounces things you can't deal with. Alright, good deal. This is actually not terrible. I, I would play all ten out of eleven of these cards. Dictate of Elia? Okay. Some fries. Some fries. French fries. Look at these aggressive green. Maybe we're like a green red deck. I just want to see Atali. I I also want to see Atali do his thing once. Come on, one time Atali. You guys got excited about the grudge coming back. I didn't even take it. <laughs> I took the Voltaic Brawler instead. They're different versions of the same comic. Oh yeah, they're called variants. You didn't know about this? Was it Alex Ross one? Okay. I mean, this look at this one. This is this is issue A Mason Spider Man issue eight hundred. This comes out next month. Someone wants two hundred seventy nine dollars for it. Well, Jeez. it's better than this rate of three forty nine, or this one of four ninety nine. Ooh. So you get a close up of that bad boy. It's pretty good. Oh, it's amazing. The cover's fantastic. Lash Out, Outpost Siege, Solemn Simulacrum, Restoration Angel in hopes that we get a Kiki Jiki. We can also just be white and play like Dictate Sun Titan too. Which could be pretty reasonable. But we don't have any fixing here, so. Two colors not that hard. You didn't know you could eat pumpkin seeds? No. Oh, man. I think we have to be we have to stay true to the mono red though. No, we don't. Why? Because we haven't done mono red, and I want to be mono red. We haven't red. done red white either. Every day, <laughs> my God, is Chicken Sunday. Ah, I'm out of water and ice. Dang it! Yeah, well, get wrecked. Ah, ah. I'll take the outpost siege. Fine. Every Cut red. Okay. Oh my God, Zora, you were the one who literally got excited about the red. You're like, yes, red, and now you're like, cut the red. I don't understand. Do it. Cut the red. Cut him now. Cut the down where he says. Wow, that's that's aggressive. Ooh, how about this guy? How about this little cutie? Not many ways to trigger him. What are you talking about? We have collector defiance. And fork bolt. There's two ways. And cone of flame. There's three ways. I still think I that's guess this is an aggressive two drop. So it's fine. Yeah, it's still two one. I mean, it's either it's either that or release the gremlins, which will probably table, or wear tear, which is probably worse than release the gremlins in our deck, or perilous mirror, which I don't think is that good for us. I'm gonna take this guy. Even if you get like two guys off this, we have hell rider. Yeah, sweet 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 sweet. Hee hee hee. Pew pew pew. Ba ba da ba da ba da da. Ba ba da ba da ba da. Sarkon. I like a Sarkon. 
Sure. And it's the only red. It's literally the only red card in the pack. So you know, we could take a duplicate there, but. Bane, Bane fire! You'll get caught up in the Bane fire. That's from Crossfire. Do you remember Crossfire? I do. Crossfire! Do you? Never had any, but never had any Crossfire. Correct. Is that how that's? Is that how that phrase should go? I've never had any Crossfire. As far as I know, it is. Hmm. You know what I meant. Michael, you understand what I'm putting down, Michael? I don't think anyone knows what you meant, my friend. Look, chains. Those are webs, Michael. They're chains. Boros Signet, Sky Sovereign, or Why Bane. Why do you think they had chains? I don't know. Because you're really weird, dude. <laughs> My only problem with this is being able to crew it, but we do have a lot of three power guys, so maybe that's not a problem. I kind of like Fatty Boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fatty McBoat. I bet Banefire comes back, too. We had so we could have so many white, blue, white, Ooh, red. Searing Blaze? Fixing mm. Landless. What about Exquisite Firecraft, though? Oh, that's probably better. This says uncounterable on it. Four damage is where you want to be. But this does where kill... Where you want to be. I think this is actually pretty close. Yeah. This deals three to both, a creature and a player. I'm going to take this. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Now this deck's coming together. Oh, so Lightning Mauler or Soul Scar Mage. I and Soul Scar Mage is a trap. I think so, too. I want to take Lightning Mauler because I want to be able to pair it with, uh like... Atali, oh, we can do it. All right, well, that's not the red card we want. That's definitely not the red card we want. I'm still gonna take it so that no one can have any red cards, even if they are not good for our deck. Also, I don't actually hate playing Westvale Abbey in this deck. Like just being able to get five Pyromancer tokens on board or something, something stupid, and then making a big, making a big, big. We can take a fixing land in case we hit a black thing, or we can take a white card. A Johnny is basically a red card. I'm gonna take a Johnny and maybe we get um some of those fixing lands back, and then we can get just get the free splash. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Chicken Sunday. Yep, 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 yep. Knew this guy was coming back. Oh, Reckoner? If we get a Boros Reckoner, maybe we just play a Blasphemous Act. That'd be pretty sweet. I'm going to take the release of Gremlins. We don't have any artifact removal yet. Also, this deck's looking all right so far. He's like a gobble guide. We need a shrine of Burning Rage is what we need. No, oh, that'd be pretty good. That's, what I, that's where I want to be in life. Well, oh, Chain to the Rocks could be good if we actually get any sort of white-red fixing, which we've seen a ton of, but none has come back. So far, we've seen Rugged Prairie, we've seen Arid Mesa, we've seen, uh... Well, we've seen a lot. Let's just put it that way. Quick, pivot into Mono Black Devotion. Oh, a Shrine or a Black Lotus. Well, I only think one of those is realistically possible. You okay, man? Your head your head getting to you? Your head getting is to it you. Your, is your brain aneurysm again? Probably. God, it's always acting up. Gravy ice cream is as bad as it sounds. I'm glad you tried it. You're really, you're really fighting the good fight for all of us there. We have a lot of good white cards on the sideboard here. There we go. Now we're talking. I mean, I guess. What if you put your gravy ice cream on mashed potatoes? Look, look with your gravy ice cream. Hey, it's all double butt. <laughs> That's two butts. You're right. Oh, this is the guy you want. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. This guy's real problematic. And there's nothing else in this pack, even remotely close. They're like, here's one red card for you. Phyrexian Metamorph's good, but I'd rather have Ferocidon. You ever gone to the Ferocidontist? No. Yeah, well, that's why you're 
that your ferocidon's all messed up. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why are you letting <laughs> Hey man, what's your favorite kind of barbecue sauce? Oh, um, I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, what really is barbecue sauce? I like this. Hey, that's Frank. That's not so Frank. And hey, they are the game Franks. That's pretty funny. I like that. I'm a fan. Fighting Helix though. I know it's real good, but like this is our only black splashable. White, you mean? That's what I meant. I don't know why I said <laughs> I mean, two colors isn't really that hard to pull off. Yeah, but it is when you have, like, double red, double red, significant red investment. Double red, double red, triple red, double red. Like, all, it's really red intensive. We'll get there. It's fine. Oh, God. I think it's better than Chandra Nalar. And I don't really like... It could be Smuggler's Copter, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Copter here. Copter, Copter. Give me the news. I got a consecrated sphinx that I cannot use. Ooh, but a chicken. Right. Beautiful chicken. I do like a beautiful chicken. Dude, we could have had the bribery Sphinx's Revelation consecrated sphinx deck. Yes, we could have. That's all I want to be doing in this format, and you made me not do it. You denied me that. I did it. How did I do it? I know. Ooh, cough. Cough, boy. Is that better than Rabble Master? Yeah. You play with Koth? Yeah, he's usually not that great. In my table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming back here. Actually, I could see Koth coming back. You guys don't like Rabble Master? Like, we have a Hell Rider. I'd rather take the Rabble Master. Rabble Master just wins games. He just gets out of control. Two people said Koth will table. I actually agree with that. Oh, is it Stoke, Brimstone, or Burst Lightning? Good lord. Know. They're all kind of the same thing. They are. If you're a 4 damage, 4 damage, 5 damage. I think it's one of the 4 damage, not the 5. And I think it might be the 4 damage that you can play for 1. Probably. No, oh, Stoke is good with the tokens. Kind of late thought, but why not Rampaging Frosted on a Rakdos Charm for the Modern Fog deck? That's interesting. What did you say? I think that's the right card. Burst Lightning? Yeah. I think so, too. I think paying one for it is just so much better. I think I just want the cheaper card. Oh, Bedlam Reveler actually seems good for a deck like this. Also a Gideon? I think the Bedlam Reveler. Not the main? I don't know. Because we have a lot of expensive stuff, so our odds of emptying our hand is not super high, but... If we go in a different direction. Ooh, Goblin Guide. Over your favorite Vance's Blasting Cannons? Yes. Okay, well. It's not my favorite. It is. You always hate. talk about it. Did you say you hate me? Dead. You hate me dead? Yeah. I hate you dead, boy. I hated him so much he died. I like the way you die, boy. <laughs> That's a good movie. You're right. I'm a fan. Oh, Pia and Kieran Nalar. Yeah, Rabble Master, Young Peasy. They're all they're all non-bows with Ferocidon. It makes me wonder if Ferocidon's good enough to play, but probably. Oh, totally. I want to take this Pia and Kieran Nalar. And we'll probably take out the Outpost Siege. Take out Kona Flame for now. This could be a 16 land deck. Um. Maybe. Bye-bye. This deck actually looks good. I think this came together well. I w really would love a shrine, but... What do you think about Grafted Warrior? I don't hate it. If it comes back, we'll take it. I think putting it on a counter and making a four-power guy is pretty good. Because usually they're just going to kill it anyway if they... If they end up removing the armor, it's only 1-1. One, one, you're not really... You're not really losing a ton, so... Michael, Michael, give me the news. I got a bad case of hating you. Sorry, man. 
It's okay. I expected it. Look, it's Ula Smog. I'll just take the Ula Mog. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I have no idea what you just did there. <laughs> Chester Brad, there's no stip going on right now. I don't know why I did that. Oof. Now they're just being mean. I'm just going to take all the red cards, man. Just making sure. Give me the news. I got a bad case. Burk, 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 burk. That's just a bunch of chicken noises that I decided to make. I guess it's... Burk, 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 burk. What's up, ew, you're skinny. Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, do we have the wooded foothills? We took Searing Blaze. Could be good. Actually, Carry Zev is probably 100% playable in this deck, so. Chocolate rain. No, Brian, I will, I, will, I will always personally let you know when the chocolate rain is happening. Wow, both of them came back. Hmm. Cough did not come back, but both of these came back. Stokes better. We get bored in Mizzy and Mortars, right? Probably, yeah. Oh, the Grafted War Gear came back. That's interesting. I wonder if that's playable here. Plus three, plus two is a lot. I wonder if we just cut these. And, Big bigs. and play... Look, even that's a red card. Good lord. And just play 16 lands. Or Actually, we don't have to cut... We can keep one. Oh, no. I think it's probably Sarkon. That was, that was the card I was most sad about cutting. It's a hasty. Yeah. I think this is a 14 land deck. Or a 16 land deck, rather. <laughs> 14. Ambitious. And he's a, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it let's see if it pays off. Lightning Mauler is only good with two cards. It's good with Phoenix. It's good with Ferocidon. It's good with Dragon Lord. Rabble Master. It's okay with Rabble Master. Usually you want to have a bunch of goblins before you attack with that guy. Just a 2-1 haster that gives other things haste. Seems fine. It's good with Smuggler's Cop. No, it's not. I, actually, it. it is. You can crew it first and then play it. I think it's still fine. I don't see a problem with him. Put the one Westvale Abbey. And <laughs> no. No. All right, we're going to try it like this. Put in the Stampede. What the hell is that? Mm. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? What the hell are you talk about? Is that a chicken or a rooster? Does it have a, a phoenix? What does that even mean? It's a beautiful chicken, okay? I'm a people person. Titan creatures plus one plus one. I'm going to trample till I'm turn. Okay, but what? Do we have a a card that does that? What am I missing? What's going on right now? Am I drunk? Did you drink any alcohol? No. Did you? Yes. Several ounces. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I will play first. This hand looks great. I'm excited about its existence. Oh, I didn't even know we had a little phoenix. You didn't know we had a little phoenix? Mm hmm You didn't know we had a little, little phoenix? A little bird? A little bird? Yeah. I didn't see that. Whatever, man. I think Mike is drunk. I, I think Mike is drunk. I think that's the problem. And he admits it. God, he's so drunk. <laughs> is this just the red mirror match? Do I just win because I have carry Zev? Which has this really sweet border. Too bad that doesn't happen in real life. 
I agree. It's it's yeah. It's kind of funny because like this card doesn't exist with this border in real life. Lightning helix. Oh, that's annoying. Actually, yeah, that's annoying. Oh my god. Yeah, that's actually fine. Whatever. I'll just rabble master here. We get a free guy rabble, that doesn't rabble. have to die, so. This is nice because we don't have to suicide our guys into into their creatures yet, so. Thankfully this guy comes into play tapped and attacking, so that doesn't. This is actually very good against our guy with like haste, haste, haste. All of these creatures have haste. Also, if we get a land, though, we just kill it, so. Me spelling the word ponix wasn't a typo. It was the joke. I don't understand what you're saying right now. I don't understand your ponix joke. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? You never been to the ponix? No, what does that mean? Where am I right now? Planet Earth. This doesn't come into play tapped, right? Oh, that's pretty good tech. But it doesn't have haste. Touche. I just saved you a point of damage. God, that was amazing. I was like, oh yeah, oh wait, that's a good point. Well, dang it. Just say it like Phoenix, because it was a rooster chicken joke. Shouldn't you have taken out the, the O instead of the H? Then it would be P-H-E-N-I-X. Does it have a Phoenix? A Phoenix? Because <laughs> that would make more sense. Or the H too. Take out the H and the O. Then it's just P E N I X, and that makes. Then I would have got it. That would have made sense. Wow. We probably should have played Ram Gang. I don't know, man. I just want to hit one land so I can kill this. This imposing sovereign. It's quite imposing. I've I've been imposed. I feel imposed upon right now. All right, we did it. Mike B, give me the news. I got a bat. Actually, Chandra's Phoenix is a, an amazing card to discard here, because we just get it back when we activate Chandra. So we probably should have attacked first, but I guess that. It doesn't matter. We can just do it next turn. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Like, if they kill Chandra, then it's really sad because then we just lost the value there. Little chicken. Weep, little chicken, man. Little chicken, man, is my favorite Mumford & Sons song. Really? Really? Wow. Wow. So I can kill both of those with my Chandra Pyromancer Master. Pyromancer Master. Pyromancer Master. And then they're going to go <laughs> burst lightning <laughs> to kill her. Did you go into the face here? Oh Impressive. boy, that can't be good. Alright, well let's play Hell Rider. You don't like Sarkon here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it, it just kills him, doesn't it? Um. Yes. Fair magic, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Hi -oh! What a we got a great show for you tonight, folks. Uh, I like Kona Flame here, actually. Man, this deck was something. What do we see? We saw Oblivion Ring. We saw three X1s, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is incredible for our deck. Uh -huh. 
imagine Mizium Mortars is pretty good here too. Oh, do you? Why? Because we saw creatures? Yes. I mean, we have Burst Lightning, Fork Bolt, Searing Blaze, uh, Collector Defiance, Stagger Shock, Cone of Flame. I think we'll be all right. I think we're okay in in, in terms of... I don't know. I know. That's why... I don't know anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'll probably take out War Gear. Why? Because it's... What if they kill your guy? That's oh, no. Bad. Oh, no. Not my guy. What if they unattach it? What did you say to me? What if they unattach it? Oh, no! We saw the opponent play permanence. Ulamog seems good here. I Yeah, that's actually... Can't see why not. That's a good call. I can get behind that. What do we cut here? Sarkon? All right. Deal. This hand seems great. Keep it all day. All day, boy. All day, boy. And they went to six, so they're basically dead is what you're saying to me. Hunter's like, uh-huh. Huh. huh. Our opponent did the deck that we wanted to do, the the, the red-white deck. Oh, that's a good draw. Oh, man, if they have a two-drop, it's going to be such a blowout. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll cry for my opponent. I hope it's that stupid imposing sovereign again. I don't like your stupid face. Oh, boy. Got him. Pew, 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 pew. I would... Ordinarily use a different, like a fork bolt or something on this guy because I'd rather save this for something bigger, but I don't know if we're going to hit another land, so I don't want to risk not hitting landfall. Just dealing five is pretty great. Yeah, I don't mind dealing five and killing your sovereign, especially in my deck full of hasty dudes. Oh, this guy. This guy. Really? Kill that thing immediately. Well, I want to attack first. If they block, we can kill something else. They, there's no there's no world in which they block. But I'm also tempted to play this because then they just take damage every time this makes a dude. Yeah, but if we fork bolted before damage, we could have dealt them an extra point. Yeah, we yeah we can't yeah, but I can just burst lightning it now, right, and still deal the extra point, which is what I'm gonna do. I mean, we could have done both. Dealt them another thing. Ooh, that guy's getting fork bolt. Right quick now. I'm going to fork bolt that right, right quick. Guess we're taking six here, but I guess that just breaks us even. Give me one land. Oh, God, Magic, you're so good to me. Our hand is gas. I have I have to imagine our hand is better than their hand, but what do I know? Guess we'll find out. Well, that's pretty good, but it doesn't do anything. We can also just shoot it with Chandra, mm -hmm. so it can't block, and then we attack for three, four, five, six. We also, just collect defiance, right? That is four to a creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would also trigger prowess. Yeah, yeah. We can also just Hellrider. What does that do? We play Hellrider, they block Hellrider. Take one, two, three, four, five, six. And then they're dead on board. We do take three. Yeah? That's not really that exciting. I mean, what do we discard? Chandra? I don't think it's worth discarding anything to deal the extra three of the face, though. Maybe it is. Nah, I'm sure. I think both of these are very good. Like this actually deals. So we deal. They take three, four, five, six. Oh, they're not gonna. They're gonna block here. So they're not gonna. We're not gonna deal eight. I just think the cards in our hand are better than. 
Because if they play like a 6-6 six, six or something next turn, I don't know what that could be. I like the ability of Chandra to just make it unable to block, so... Plus, this either puts them to five with with uh, with a goblin on board, or puts them to seven, which is just fine. Escalate's not discard. That is correct. That was not oh. good. That was terrible. All right, I actually thought it was collective. I'm thinking of collective defiance. I have or not collective defiance. Collective brutality. I haven't played collective defiance in a constructed event. So they probably just laughed at us and then lost, but I think it's fine. Wow. Wow. It was literally just, why don't you just use the extra mana that you have sitting there? All right. I didn't want to... Because you even said, you're like, I, didn't wanna, I don't want to discard any of the cards we have. Yeah, because I, I just assumed Escalade was discard because of Collective Brutality. So did I. It's weird that you have a mechanic like Escalate, but the, the, the cost for it is different on each card. That's interesting. Oh, wow, this hand is great too. Oof. Seems like a sniper. Oof. Mike, pay attention to the chat, all right? What are you even here for? God. Entertainment. Doubt it. <laughs> God, two red decks? Good lord. Give me like well, a at least I like our matchup against the red decks. What are your... Sand is boner soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What a reveal? Stoke? Okay. My opponent said, is this the real, the Frank Lepore? And I'm like, no, heavens no. So you said heavens now. <laughs> God dang it. Well, this chat has gotten confusing. All right. Good times. I said, oh, heavens now. No, not now. Well, this chat has gotten confusing. <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable. Oh, it's all, it's a little choppy. It's a little choppy. I actually don't even want to play that because... Actually, I don't want to play Pyromancer, I mean, because they just kill it. I, oh, that guy's problematic. I think we just Searing Blaze this guy, but it makes yeah. Pyromancer, Pyromancer worse. Yeah, but like trying to wait is super greedy because they'll probably just kill it. I agree with your, your assessment of greed. They also haven't hit a land drop. They're like missing three land drops. It's all right. They just got a goblin guy. They'll get there. Oh, they found a black mana. They're good. All was right with the world again. Stagger shock. Man, we could have got greedy. Kill them both. Kill both of them. Both of them. Now they don't want to play anything, I bet. Oh, we got a we got a trigger. We got a gentleman, boys. If we get a land next turn, we can pyromancer and play Stoke the Flames, which is pretty sweet. Wait, did you say both of them? We did. We did say both of them. Indeed. You know who said both of them? Both of them. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Did you just take two? Wow. You'll be dead soon. Mm, you'll be dead soon. <laughs> oh, that was so kind of you. Oh, that's kind of you, Gavna. Why did you do that? Why do you do that Cockney British voice? I don't know. No one has any idea. No one has any idea. No one has any idea. <laughs> you know what you did. I do. I'm just going to play this guy and we can keep up Stoke. I think that seems good, right? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Man, this goblin guide is going to town. Brown town. <laughs> what does that mean? Where is Brown town to you? Right In next to the 
Gentlemen's Club. Right next to the Chicken Sunday Club. Oh, look at that phoenix. Look at that beautiful chicken. Sunday, Chicken Sunday. I like that the idea that people are just going to watch this video and not the Chicken Sunday video. And, um, they have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and they have no idea what's going on. We're at 12. They're at 14. I feel like if we just... You could have stoked his face. Oh, no, you couldn't have. I was going to say stoke his face, double block, but you got to tap him. Yeah. So. Well, we couldn't... Have, oh, yeah, right. So you can't actually block before and after. I just kind of want to get the goblin off the board because if they stop attacking, it shuts down our other guys. So... Are you and Ollie going to make any more first brood? I don't know. I don't foresee it. Like, it just feels like it's run its course for some reason. It's really hard for us to coordinate. I actually went through this uh, the other day about how it was just difficult and, like, how I do a lot of the, the back-end stuff. All right. That was that was a Chicken Sunday match if I ever saw one. What does that even mean? What the hell? Why do they no keep... No one has any idea. Why does Cone's they keep... probably good here, right? What is? Cone. Ice cream cone? Mm-hmm. I just worry about getting to five against this deck. Could be good. I, Busy Mortars might be better, though. Sure. Just another two-mana removal spell. Take the Lightning Mauler out. I would have taken out, like, Hanger Back Walker. It's real slow. Kind of, yeah. Maybe Cone for Hanger Back. All right. I like that. I like that swap. I'm working on a D&D podcast with my... Yep. Yeah. And the thing about that is, like, I would do all the back-end stuff. Like, I would be responsible for the uploading, for the editing, uh, for the processing, for, like, l titling the, the podcasts, for writing the descriptions for the podcast, for including links in the podcast. You know, like, I did all of that stuff. And so that was, it was, it's very hard, because, like, I, I mentioned that, like, and I love all I did that, it's not his fault. Um, but I mentioned that, like, if I, if, if the podcast takes one hour to record, like, Ollie would show up for the hour, record the podcast, and then I would end up doing, like, the extra three hours of behind-the-scenes work. So, you know, it was a lot more problematic for me than it was for him, I think, you know. Sunday, chicken, Sunday. Elk Tears. Yeah, they got the new border. I actually raved about it for quite a while because it looks awesome. All right. If they don't play anything... I'm good. I think we have the better end game here, but you know, it's hard to say. Well, I don't think they went back and changed it. Like, you know, it wasn't like they went to the, in their time machine. I think they just changed it currently in the future, in the present, in the present future, in the president. This guy's annoying. Can we draw a searing blaze? I don't want that. Certainly don't want that. I feel like I almost feel like we just have to double it. Like, Ugh. it feels bad though. But like, we just don't have anything to do. Like, we don't do anything next turn. Like, we're gonna take six from this guy before before it's too late. You know what I'm saying, man? I guess. What do you guys think? Do we deal Spends with this guy all now? By the card advantage, though. Y yeah, but they have green now, so they're apparently jund. Like this is five. This is five. This is five. This is four, and we can't really profitably chump block because it has menace. I think it's burst and bolt, which is also the name of my uh, my indie band. Also, there's no even there's no guarantee that we'll even hit a fifth land. So, plus this should this should clean up some things. This should clean like we have plenty of stuff in our hand. It's also five cards to five cards right now, so I'm not really super. All right. Look at all these. I love this border so much. Like I, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I think it looks really elegant. It really gives this card a feeling of like, wow, this card is like a legend. Like it has like a special feeling to it. I don't know. I'm naturally critical of things just because I want to make sure I look at I look at it from all the angles. But this is great. 
this is a this is a, a great change with like net zero problem like net zero drawback yeah this their, their mono red decks mana base is terrible are we already up a match this is really quick so far this is game two and in, in round two oh this is aggressive I think we just take four here Mm -hmm. We'll just come right back at you, actually, with the, with the, with the Smarkon. Smorkon is more like it. I can be your hero, Smorkon. Hmm. You okay? Just a weird weird thing to say i can <laughs> yeah i mean logically if you if you try to think about it too long it's not going to make any sense buddy all right let's oh oh wow the perfect removal spell to kill our sarkon how how beautiful yeah, that's pretty good wow this is amazing oh my god brian wow. you magnificent burstered look at that look how amazing this is wow that is incredible i can't even handle that right now yep this is sad but how much damage do we have? Three? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, we have lethal here. We just, I mean, not the mana to cast it yet, but... That was incredible. They are coming at Sarkon, right? Because... Yeah, okay. Dang. Be weird if they didn't. That's amazing. That's... <laughs> it's like the best thing I've ever seen. Wow, Goblin Rabble Master was a pretty good draw there. Hmm. So, I think we can hold this back. Hmm. Leave up Stoke. Maybe? It's probably good. I kind of want to just play Carry Zev, too, but... Whatever, we'll be fine. I am afraid of like a sweeper, like if they have Blasphemous Act or something. Like I just don't want to throw all my guys out here. Oh my god, ew, you're skinny. That's unbelievable. Please. Oh, God, don't. <laughs> it's not okay. Every day is a chicken. Oh, that's a good dude. Yep. Actually, they're at nine. Wow, look at these goblins. Oh, look at that Dominaria goblin. That's amazing. Wow, they really cleaned up in this in this set update in this update today. That's awesome. That's a good looking token, my boy. I'm just gonna stoke the flames their face right, and then clean up with uh, cone next turn. Because we go cone, 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 cone of fools. They're at five. Can we just cone their face? Well, yeah, but we can't do it with that. Yeah, that's not going to do it yet. Um, Cone of Flame deals one damage to our creature or planeswalker. All right, one. Deals two. Deals three. Cone your face. Now you're dead. That's a good-looking goblin token, man. Oh, my God. These matches have been unbelievable. You could have just coned their face, though. You can't choose them. You can't choose them all three times. I'm sure you can. Are you sure about that? Yes, that's it not. Says deal one damage to any target. Deal two damage to any target. Deal three to another to target, and oh. three damage to a third target. Okay. You have to have three targets. Dang. 
That's why people actually have to cone themselves sometimes if there's only like two targets. If they have, if your opponent has himself and like one creature, you have to cone yourself. That'd be insane. Are you the way that you are? I mean, it'd be five mana for five damage. It doesn't seem that insane. Six damage. Sure. <laughs> okay, maybe that's pretty good. It's not insane by itself, but the fact that you can split it up, like that has to have some kind of drawback. Otherwise, that's like a insane card, right? God, read, Mike. <laughs> Never. All right. Well, oh, uh, well. Ah. Land on top. You can you can leave. Never come back. All right. So we actually have our top card and our second cards. We have three cards to have seen to hit one land. And I think that's I think our own. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll play this guy instead. Do I ever read the cards? Sometimes. Real answers only, Mike. No jokes. Sometimes. Okay. Cool sprawl, bro. Wow. Hey we are good boy. at we are, we are good at this game. Let's play Young Peasy. Uh yeah, I'm going to. Young Peasy gets queasy. Does he? Yeah. You That's can tell. Look at his fair skin. <laughs> Look at his fair skin. Oh, well, that's terrifying. Well, we can attack and we blocks. So we can Searing Blaze it. <sighs> yeah, but I'd rather just, like... God, I really want to play this guy to make the counters negs. You know what I'm saying? Got them neg counters. Oath of Nisser. Okay. Uh, there's no way they block, right? Probably not, but one can dream. That would be amazing. Hooray. Oh wow! Oh boy, that was that was too nice. Whew. I don't think we had a way to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, that actually would have been pretty hard to deal with. Woo! Got us got us out of a real pickle, boys. Also, if we hit one land, oh god, our hand just explodes. Is Peasy a boy? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's male. Yeah, you can tell. Look at those, look at those abs. You can tell by looking at the abs. Well, you can. I think. I think men and female have men, men and women have different. Uh, have a, you know what? I'm not going to get into this, man. I think you can tell just because he's wearing an open open vest, and that would be real weird if he was a female. Oh, I agree with you. I actually thought. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's probably a better indicator of. That was a good draw. Well, I feel like a Dr. Funkberger, I feel like you would know because you're a doctor. I feel like as a doctor, it's kind of your job to know. But he's only a doctor of Funkburgers. Hmm, I see. I understand. Oh, boy, that's a big one. Oh, that's terrifying. I am not a fan of your skyship. Big Boat's pretty good here. Does Big Boat... Big Boat does it when it enters the battlefield, too, can you, right? can you say Big Boat one more time? Big Boat. Big Boat, Big Boat. Does Big Boat... Big Boat, Big Boat, Big Boat, Big Boat, Big Boat, Big Boat, Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, we deal eight if we actually get... If we get a land here. Oh, boy. They're at one. <laughs> All right. That was pretty good. So we know they have Pelucranos in hand. Big Paluki. Wait. Oh, because they got it back. They got it back with the Ewit. Ewit. Just going to put this up until they figure out what they're doing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the very day is Chicken Sunday. Hey, we won. Wow. All right. Because even if they play Pelucranos, if they want to crew this to kill our Hellrider, they still die to these two. Because right. they only have one dude. Wow. How is this deck... Just crushing. Do we have That's any way to... Red does. I'm going to bring in Release because they have an artifact. Release the gremlins. The gremlins will be released on Chicken Sunday. What's he doing right now, guys? I don't understand. Pelucranus is actually really problematic unfortunately yeah, it's, it's got five toughness that's yeah that's like the bad the problem that's the bad zone for the red decks oh boy i think if he actually didn't block and just untap with that we would have lost the game 
Like he just untaps. He just shoots one of our both, dudes. Our, both of our yeah. dudes probably. They would need seven mana. They had at least five. Frank, I don't understand. Where are the rest of your red cards? What do you mean, Case? I don't understand what you're saying right now. Case, I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. I may, may not be. <laughs> well, you know, the fact that you mentioned it, I'm leaning towards May. <laughs> but, you know, it's up in the air, I think. Who knows? I think we're good. I think we just submit like this, right? Is Mono Red the best Martin Cube deck? Um, it can't. I think it can be. I think it always ends up being really good. It has good. really good matchups. I think if you're not getting cut pretty horribly, it is. Oh, Brian. I don't know what that means. He made the chicken. Oh, yeah. It's good times. These chunky reddish decks just make me giddy. Wow. Of course, Felipe, I like that. This hand looks great, too. God, all our hands look good. Does that say something about our deck? Do I just kill that dude? I feel like I do, right? Yeah. You always kill that dude. Picked burst lighting, misplay. Could have been a foil goyf. That's actually a good point. I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, I like Dragonlord here. You could play Lightning Maw on the Dragonlord next turn. I guess that doesn't really matter. It's the same thing if I do this, though, right? Yeah. Or I could just play carry Zev. Is that more damage next turn? Uh, deals one more point, yeah. I hmm. I like using double red on Dragonlord, because if we play to Zev next turn, we can use the Westvale Abbey and also upgrade this guy. So I'm going to throw this guy down. Throw him down. Okay, that's... Okay, both these cards are annoying. I'm on. I'm. Yeah, we actually can't beat Thraktos. You might as well concede. Scoop him up, boys! <laughs> All right, so yeah. we're gonna level you. What are the odds we can just level this guy all the way up to like a million? Got to try. He's mono green. He has no answer to it. Yeah, all right. Get aggressive. All right, so forest on top. Dragon hand. Don't play Blucronus. That is my least favorite thing that you could possibly do. I wish this killed enchantments, but that is not a red thing, so. I literally asked you. I said, don't play that, and you did. I don't understand why you would do that. Hmm. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Oh, players can't gain life. So, so oh. Thrag Tusk and Corsair yeah. of Crufix are just blanks at this point, my friend. I'll just fight it, though. He needs seven mana to fight this. He didn't block? Why didn't he block? It flies. It has, it's oh, a four-seven. Right. Four, I always forget about the flying. God, I'm a draw over here. If we actually draw a mountain, we can actually pump this up to eight. And then it's an eight-eight with flying and trample. Do I just... No, because then you shoot. Now yeah, we got to take six here, seven here. Here comes Thrag Tusk. I hope they. Oh, no Thrag Tusk. Oh, that's pretty good. We have a lot of options here, though. We could pump. They only have green cards. They didn't play Thrag Tusk. Mm -hmm. Are they waiting until Pelucronos is off the board? Mm, can't they just like fight EOT or Life Gain guy? They don't have seven mana. Why do you keep saying that? Oh, it, yeah. it costs XX green. Oh, yeah, it's double X, all right. So they need six and one green. I like Sarkon killing Corsair of Crufix, actually. Because then it forces them to come at... And they have a wall of roots on top. Which doesn't do much. And then we can play both of these at some point. Hmm. 
And if you want to come at Sarkon next... Oh, you got a thing. You have a Mutavolt? This has... Menace. That's not going to work the way you think it works. Oh, did they not know about the Menace? That's mm -hmm. pretty huge, because now they go to 10. And they have to keep two blockers back for this guy, and this guy just deals 8 to their face. What up, Dreadmang? I think they're just dead. Uh, if we just attacked, yes, but they also have seven points on board. And they can activate this for two, making it a 7-7. Seven, seven. So they would just shoot this guy for two irrelevantly, make it a 7-7, seven, seven, attack for two more. They would still have Courser, so that'd be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and we'd be dead. So we'd actually die if we activated Sarkon and did not kill Courser of Crufix. Yep, that guy dies, but... Now you need a four... Oh, you have Wall of Roots, so that's okay. I could just play both of these. That's three creatures. You can't block this guy, and you're going to use both of them here. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's lethal. I can't imagine you have a two double green spell. This actually feels pretty okay. And they, oh, they have three, so they can actually shoot Lightning Mauler if they remember to do that. Oh God, don't remember. It's going to be awkward if they remember. They remembered. Dang it. That's so sad. I forgot about the fire breathing. So the, end, the answer to that is yes. But they did Monstrous Pelucranos here, so that means they can't do it again. We could also attack... No, we're not attacking ever. All right, cool. Jarman, thank you so much for the bits. What's going on? All right, so they're pretty much dead on board. We know they have a Thrag Tusk. Oh, this guy. And yeah, we could have just won there. That, that time we did. Why did you forget about the fire breathing? I, I don't know. <laughs> because that's how forgetting works. Because I've never leveled this guy up to eight in my life. That's probably why. You can't really ask why someone forgot something. That's because they forgot. That answers itself. Yeah, it's literally self-explanatory. The reason I forgot was because I did not remember it. I don't know. You can't explain why you forget things. That's that's not how brains work. I never play Red Burn, and even if even the times I have, I've never, uh, I've never leveled this guy up to to eight. So, why don't you remind yourself not to forget about leveling up? That's actually a better question, and that's my fault. I dropped the ball there. Yeah, I don't think he needs a fire breathing when he's an eight eight flying trampler. That almost seems excessive, and me personally, I just didn't feel like I needed it. I felt like if I did that, it would be unfair to my opponent. So. I think we just won this draft in like an hour. It's pretty insane. Literally an hour and four minutes. That's pretty good. It's not over yet. No, it is. They don't take this long. If it's they, they we know they have Thrag Tusk and two other cards. They can't deal nine here because we have two blockers. And this game would be so much different if we didn't have the not gain life, dude. Yeah, because we know they have Thrag Tusk, especially. Oh God. And they would have gained like three or four life off of the. Closer. And. If they didn't, if they didn't have to, actually, they had to monstrous last turn. Oh, that's pretty interesting. But I don't think that does anything because you're not doing it for. You're just putting them in your hand. You're actually costing it for seven, not not nine, which is good. Um, the other thing is, if they didn't monstrous last turn, this turn they would have enough to get rid of Ferocidon. But they'd still die because they can't also. Oh, all right. I guess that's nice. it. I think they just wanted to look and see if they had anything to get. Wow. The mono red deck that we just randomly tried on a whim ends up with three, six owing handily, not even close. So, uh, 
yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to, if you want to support the stream or the YouTube videos you guys watch, uh, check out patreon.com slash franklapore. And uh, hit me a subscribe and a follow if you guys can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.